All right, well, I heard today's Fibble was great, so, I mean, gotta check it out. So if you're not familiar with Fibble, this is just like Wordle, but on every row, one of the clues is a lie or a fib. So, uh, yeah, let's see, what do we wanna do here? Now, I don't, it's, it's harder when it starts with all grays, because my usual strategy is to repeat letters and try and get a contradiction to figure out where the lies are, but repeating a bunch of grays isn't very good, because we know at most one of those four is supposed to be actually a thing. So, uh, let's see, let's do, I know some people like to do five new letters and look for, um, you know, try and figure things out from there instead of going for contradictions. So let's, let's try that today. Let's do, um, mm, what are we gonna do though? We could do Shire? Yeah, why not? Okay, okay, interesting. Now, let's see, is there, could we possibly do five new letters again? I'm sure we probably could if we can think of the right combination. Lunch, no, we already checked the H. We could do, we could do uh, pluck. Pluck would be new letters. Or clunk. Clunk, or clung, clung, that's better. I wasn't really wanting to do the K. Let's do clung. Okay, so the strategy here is you try different letters instead of looking for contradictions. And then you say, okay, well, clearly we we probably don't have all five of these correct, right? Because if you had the E at the end, you'd have to have like, you know, B, well, the I, U and I and B can't be third, so the L would have to be third. It would have to be something like this, like Billu. So that's not gonna work. So we know some of those are lies, but beyond that, we don't know much. So I'm not sure where to go from there exactly. You know, we could think through all the different possibilities, like, well, if the B is a lie, then we have to have a T, A, or O in the word, and, but I think now I'm gonna do a word with some repeats. Uh, especially repeats with the yellow letters. Let's do this, let's do climb, which repeats the yellow L, the yellow I, it has a B, but in a new spot, but it also has the B, you know, we've got the yellow B and the green E, and we're trying the B in the same spot as the E, so we got a chance for contradiction there. We are doing the C with the gray there, I don't know, let's try that. Okay, so clearly one of these C's is a lie, which means the L's are true. Uh, now, the B, okay, one of these two B's is a lie, but that's less helpful. If, if the C is, if the gray C is a lie, then the yellow U is true. So if the green C is true, then the yellow U is true. So we would have C, we would need to have Either, and if the C is true, then one of these has to be a lie. So either there's no I, which makes this I also a lie. Basically, these two I's are either both true or both lies, whether they're gray or green. But if the I was true and the C was true, we'd have to have an M or a B. And if there's not an I, then there's not a B. So it feels like most likely the eyes are gonna be true because otherwise they would both happen to be lies, which I means possible, but um, I'm kind of thinking something LI at the beginning and assume that the gray C is true, which could mean that the U is the lie. Now that means if we're assuming that the green C is the lie, then that means that the gray B is true. So there's no B. And if there's no B, then we have to have a T A. And it can't we can't have something like light because if there's a G, then there has to be a U. Let's do this. Let's do cable. Which gives us kind of a mix of some things we've already got in there. Okay, interesting. So again. One of the C's is, oh, but we know the L is a lie. So this C is true, which means both of these C's are lies, which means everything else on those is true. Oh, well, that's interesting. These are all true. This is a lie, so these are all true. This is true. 
We know this is a lie, so these are true. Okay, so we have a C, an L, a U, and an I somewhere. Um, we could have an E, it just can't be at the end, but I'm gonna assume there's no E. And interesting, the U and the I can't be in the middle. So maybe something lucid, lucid would work. Let's go with lucid. There we go, lucid, all right. Interesting, so uh, I don't know. I know some people like to do different letters. I, I felt like that was a bit of a struggle because we just weren't getting enough information. And once I got a few contradictions, we could identify the lies and that made it easier to get the answer. It made it, made it, more, it, made it more lucid so we could find the answer, I guess. Um, so there you go. All right. Well, let me know how you did with today's fibble and which strategy you like to do. Do you like to repeat letters? Do you like to do new letters? Do you do a mixture? Maybe you do something completely different. Maybe you just guess random words until you figure it out. I don't know. You do you. But anyways, let me know how this one went for you. Be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you again soon with some more puzzles. Now, here comes the fun part. The patient was then instructed to plug their nose and blow Kind of like eight, which is 19 minus 11. Yeah, 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 that'll work. So seven times three. Okay, well, lucky guess, I guess. And we need an L or an E still. So we have an I, we need an L or an E, we need an O or a T, we need an O or an R. Well, that was really bad. Really, really bad. So the only words that use the W or the L are the words that start with the W and the L. So, oh, poo. Like Winnie the Pooh. 